two weeks ago when Elon finally closed on Twitter, we, we wanted to investigate what's happening, why, and is it what it looks like? We have four hypotheses and research questions associated with those hypotheses to inform our research. The second sort of speaks to our ethos as an organization, many kinds of places, many centers of power. By better defining the attributes of different kinds of public and private spaces, and the, specifically the qualities that they have, the features that encourage healthy dialogue and support civic life, our hypothesis is that we can thoughtfully decide which can be replicated online. I also don't presume that Mastodon is going to reach the scale that Twitter did. It doesn't need to. It's not a single monolithic entity. That's the whole point of it. I'm frustrated with people who think it's siloed. It's the opposite of siloed. Twitter was a silo. This is not. So I think when people talk about Mastodon being siloed, sometimes they're confused about what it means to be on an instance. But they're also talking about it being siloed in the same way that Twitter is siloed, which is that it's for the people who are there or on other parts of the Fediverse. Like if you're on Mastodon, you're not talking to people on Twitter. One thing that works talking to both technical and non-technical people is actually calling it a peer-to-peer -peer network, even when it's actually federated, because that brings up the memory of BitTorrent and Napster and this idea that people would come together and be able to share music and there wasn't a company you were paying for. Most people don't understand all the technical parts. And, you know, most people don't don't understand the algorithms. They just know that all of a sudden they're seeing or not seeing stuff. Their accounts are being suspended by a shadowy body of, of things. And so what switching to some back to the Fediverse, back to open systems does is it exposes what was hidden nicely behind the sort of the corporate sphere. Right. Right. Of all the services and all these different things that you didn't have to choose and it was given for you. I know you're both interested in this question of layers and this layered architecture of social media that we need to question and uh, develop new uh, models of. How does that challenge our uh, traditional understanding of a digital space, right? When we start separating out these layers and also what does that mean just for the folks in the room who may not be thinking that way? I remember in the early days as I was learning about the internet, that people and I, people got confused about the idea of a stack and that things happen in a different sense along the stack of the internet. And now we have a pretty good sense of that, but even the idea of protocols working at layers was new to us then. And I think we've, we've forgotten about it to a great extent because of the corporate takeovers, because of especially Facebook and Twitter uh, and TikTok and so on and, and so on and so on. But I think when you return to that idea of using different protocols for different purposes, it starts to make sense again. You know, I'm using email or in the old days, FTP or Gopher or whatever. You were in the internet, but you had different functions. It is very hard for a lot of people to wrap their minds around the idea of like the Fediverse because everyone is so conditioned to think about things like platforms. Like, I don't know, people who've seen my videos can tell me if it's actually been good explanations, but the comments are full of people saying, oh, it's like Reddit. Oh, it's like Discord, because you can't get your head out of this idea that it still has to be a platform. And people keep saying, well, who owns it? Who owns it? Uh, <laughs> could, could Elon Musk buy it? Um, and so it's just such a fundamentally different way of thinking that I think it, it will take a while um, for people yeah. to be able to wrap their heads around it. I feel like there's a false dichotomy here. By way of example, so in 2008, uh, I actually decentralized Twitter. And there is a direct line from that implementation to the current Fediverse uh, because that failed. And then a bunch of us went to work on a lot of the protocols that became sort of activity pub and, and so forth. The one provocation that I'd like to make is like, what if Twitter was mastered on from the start? What if it was just a protocol from the start? And for me, that's, that's always been true. Um, so the idea that that, there, that it's like some sort of corporate space that's different from the Fediverse is, I think that's the hurdle that we need to get over and that we need to get everyone over. The idea that, that corporate entities can enclose public spaces and public identities uh, is anathema to everything that I believe in, for sure. Your question reminds me of the discussion about the public sphere, and then we can't help but bring up Habermas. Uh, in that moment and turn to the coffee houses and turn to the way the conversations happen, uh, where he called it an equally momentous innovation to the invention of movable type, a third revolution of communications technologies, the global disillusion of boundaries, 
The communications flow of our garrulous species, he said, have spread, accelerated, become networked at unprecedented speed across the entire globe and retrospectively across all epochs of world history. I I'm old enough, as you can see, uh, to remember uh, the early days of blogs when people were confused about that. And RSS really caused scratching heads quite a bit. Uh, at this school, at the Newmark J School, I remember showing the old faculty Twitter in the early days. And one of the professors uh, said, okay, that's cute, Jarvis, but why are you showing this? What does this have to do with journalism? As we went through the possibilities, the opportunities became apparent. I think it's the same with Mastodon. I don't think it's that complicated at all. I think we kind of make it overcomplicated. My hope is we move past a mass society view, a mass media view. And so the idea that you had one centralized thing, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, is not going to be centralized. It's going to be a whole bunch of different things from different people. And you can go to Pixel Fed, and you can go to Mastodon, and you can go to Planetary, and you can go all over and have your own experiences with your own norms, with your own structure. At the same time, be big. And, and, I, and I think there's the possibility of, of both in that sense. <laughs>